Good morning, this is Rashad Mitchell coming to you live from my YouTube channel as I continue my part series. The week that was college football history review, the 1985 college football season. This is our week five. We'll be talking about the games that I played during week five on September 28th, 1985. Let's get into it. We're going to start with Navy beating Virginia 17 to 13. That was bad news for Virginia win for the first time ever. The Naval Academy granted fifth year to midshipmen. Man in question to held back Napoleon McCallum was no ordinary Middy, something he proved with 139 yards rushing and two touchdowns. Tell back Barry Word, rushed for 110 yards for Virginia, but the Navy defense held quarterback Don Majakowski to 108 yards passing and intercepted him twice. He scored two teams a sole touchdown on a five-yard run in the second quarter when Callum had suffered season-ending injury year ago versus Cavs. Georgia Tech beat Clemson 14-3. Virginia was ranked number 20 when Navy beat Virginia. It was ranked number 20, Virginia. All right. Florida State, the number 14 in the country, beat Kansas 24-20. Freshman quarterback Chip Ferguson, that was day for Florida State, coming off bench to rally Knowles with a pair of four-quarter touchdown drives. As resurgent Jayhawks had into the fourth quarter with 20-10 lead, as quarterback Mike Norseth. Threw two touchdowns on his field fourth play. Ferguson got one touchdown back, hooking up with wide receiver Philly, Philip Bryant on a 68 yard pass. Florida State quarterback Martin Mayhew picked off North Seth four plays later to set up a winning six yard touchdown run by Victor Floyd, the fullback. Meanwhile, Seminoles needed only eight plays to gain 130 yards on his two touchdown drives in the fourth quarter. North Seth had set big eight record with 175 straight passes without an interception being thrown. Before throwing quartet in the second half, Seminoles tailback Tony Smith ran for 132 yards while wide receiver Hassan Jones caught seven pass for 107 yards. Next, Tennessee. Tennessee beat Auburn, the number one team in the country, 38-20. Yep, Tennessee beat number one, Auburn, 38-20. In spite of Tennessee outclass nation's top team, Auburn, by jumping up to a 24-0 lead, as Volunteers quarterback Tony Robinson threw four touchdowns while receiver Tim McGee caught six passes for 163 yards and freshman tailback Keith Davis ran for 102 yards. Volunteers contained Auburn tailback Bo Jackson to only eight yards rushing on 17 carries before he left in third quarter with spring with a strained knee ligament. Meanwhile, the Tigers trailed by 24 points before scoring three touchdowns in the fourth quarter with seven-yard scoring run by backup tailback Brent Fullwood, who had 96 yards rushing on 15 carries. Robinson, who, as usual, called 70% audibles, was still slinging it in the fourth quarter, throwing two touchdowns. Auburn safety Tom Powell made three interceptions. His third was returned 50 yards to set up the touchdown. Next, Oklahoma, number two team in the country. Number two team in the country, Oklahoma beat Minnesota. 13-7 with five minutes left, Oklahoma had as dominating 13 lead, nothing lead as imaginable. With Gophers held to three first downs deep into the fourth quarter. But soon as safety, Sonny Brown lost punt fumble at eight nineteen yard line, which Minnesota turned into quarterback Ricky Foggy's 12-yard touchdown pass to tight end Kevin Starks. Meanwhile, the Gophers got ball back on their own 30-yard line and with 65 seconds left. Two passes later, ball was on Oklahoma 32-yard line, but as soon as defense was able to force an incompletion, sacking Foggy, knocked the ball away in the end zone, picked off the pass, Brown losing his goat horns with interception. Oklahoma had built a 10-0 halftime lead on the first of two field goals by kicker Tim Lashaw and halfback Earl Johnson's one-yard touchdown run while defense allowed only 30 yards. Next, we got Southern California being shot by Arizona State, 24 to nothing. Southern California is ranked number 18 in the country when they were shut out by Arizona State, 24 to nothing. Now, the prospects for Chosen's glory may have gone up in smoke during a crucial few moments of the second quarter. 
They trail 7 nothing. USC having marched to um, Arizona State two-yard line. When USC tell back Fred Crutcher lost the fumble to Sun Devils safety David Fulcher. After two running plays netted three yards, Devils went to air for quarterback Jeff Van Rathorst. Pitched to wide receiver Aaron Cox at the 30-yard line. Cox beat quarter, cornerback Matt Johnson and Louis safety Tim McDonald to race to the crushing score. Making matters worse, Arizona State University nose guard Dan Salamore stripped Trojan's quarterback, Sean Salisbury. Troy lost seven turnovers on next possession, which was converted into the field goal at the end of the first half for a commanding 17-0 lead. Now, Southern California ran for 197 yards, led by tailback Aaron Emanuel. Had 76 yards on 14 carries. All right, last but not least, we're going to conclude with Washington beat UCLA 21-14. At the time, UCLA was ranked number 13 in the country when they lost to Washington 21-14. Charlie 14 3 near end of the first half. Huskies grabbed a momentum that was for good as quarterback Hugh Millen arched 31 yard touchdown pass to wide receiver Lonzel Hill. Ensuing two point pass to wide receiver David Trimble cut deficit to 14 to 11, which uh, vanished on kicker uh, Jeff Jagger's 37 yard field goal early in the third quarter. It was followed with a loss from by tailback uh, James Primus. It led to a 46-yard drive late in the third quarter to a winning one-yard touchdown run by Huskies tailback David Tort on his uh, only play. Washington uh, linebacker Joe Kelly recovered Primus fumble and later uh, added a key inception. Um, Bruins turned to backup quarterback, which worked twice this early season, but failed as nose guard Jim Matthews Injured quarterback Max Stevens on pass number 10. UCLA outgained Huskies 303 yards to 263 yards. Scoring pair of 26 yard touchdowns on first half passes. Quarterback David Nori to wide receiver Mike Sherrard and Carl Durrell. So that clues look at class for Christian Review, the 1985 class for postseason for week number five. Week five. September 28th, 1985. That was cause for this review for week five. Here's a September 28th, 1985. Let's get to the AP poll as of September 30th. We had Texas at number 20, 19 Bella, 18 Georgia, 17 Air Force, 16 Tennessee, Brigham Young, 15, 14 Auburn, 13 Nebraska, 12 Alabama, 11 Florida. Top 10 round out is this Arkansas, number 10, number 9 Penn State. Eight, Louisiana State, seven, Michigan, uh, six, Oklahoma State, uh, five, Ohio State, uh, four, Florida State, three, Southern Methodist, two, Oklahoma, and number one team in the country was the Iowa Hawkeyes. So that concludes a look at college football history in review. The 1985 college football season. Please like, subscribe, and comment on the channel. Do be on the Smack 2 tomorrow. Until then, like, subscribe, and comment. Do be on the Smack 2 tomorrow. Until then, talk to you soon.